Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So unfortunately my camera did not film the beginning of this video, but all I did was apply the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Then I applied the YSL Touche Glow Shot all over my face and finishing that with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I also applied that all over my face and also down my neck and on my chest. So next I'm going to be using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I'm in the shade Custard and I'm basically going to be highlighting my face, also concealing under my eyes. What we did with the base was make everything super glowy since this is a very glowy festival makeup look. With the primer it was glowy and also with the YSL product it definitely made it super glowy as well. And this is the Real Techniques sponge and I'm just going to be blending everything out and making sure my foundation everything is really nicely blended in. And I'm going in with one of my Holy Grail products. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Ladies, if you are going to a festival, you want to set your face. You do not want to be a little grease ball. You want to set your makeup. Obviously, I'm wearing so much makeup here, so you honestly really have to set your face to make sure it stays all night. And I'm pretty sure this is from the Estee Edit Collection. It's like some sort of photo ready powder. I'm just using that to set the rest of my face. Honestly, I don't notice a huge difference in a lot of powders. If you guys do, let me know because I would like to try out a quote unquote good powder. So yes, let me know. And this is the Cheek Parade palette. I have not been able to put this down, um, mostly just because everything is so convenient and I also love Hula Bronzer and just like basically all the blush shades. Um, so I'm just using the Hula Bronzer and I'm bronzing up my face. I am putting so much bronzer on my face because I just want to look as tan and bronzy and highlighty as possible. Next, I'm taking a smaller blending brush. This one I usually use for eyeshadow, but I'm dipping it into the Hoola Light Bronzer. It's basically just Hoola Bronzer for lighter skin tones. And I'm gonna be contouring my nose just because I need a smaller brush and also I don't want it to be as harsh. Going back in with that Laura Mercier powder, I'm using it to clean up my contour. So I'm putting it under my contour on my cheeks. And I'm also going to be putting it on either sides of my nose and also down my nose. Once again, just to clean it up. And after that, we're going to be blending everything out. This is from Smashbox. It's one of their LA Lights Blush and Highlight Palette. Um, blush isn't super, super needed with a look like this just because it is so focused on being bronze, but I also just think it looks really pretty and it kind of, I feel like I always need highlighter, blush, and bronzer. I can't just have one or the other. So this is basically like a bronzy highlighter from MAC Cosmetics. Once again, this is not completely needed, but I mean... <laughs> We like the glow, so I'm just going to be putting that all over my collarbones and my shoulders and basically my whole body. And by the way guys, I am wearing a shirt. I mean, I could also not be, but like I am wearing a shirt just in case any of you are going to criticize me. And I just thought I would take a little bit of a singing break for to put some lip balm on. So this is from Becca Cosmetics. It is Champagne Pop. What else? And I'm going to be putting that on my cheekbones. I don't know why. I was like, holy crap, this is way too pigmented. Like, this is way too much highlighter. And then I'm like, wait, <laughs> I am doing a festival makeup and I'm going to be having glitter all over my face. And also, it's just like, it just does not matter. Do I know how sparkly I'm going to be after this? Now I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera. I have a very recent tutorial I just did. I'll post it down in the description if you guys are interested. And next I'm going to be using this light orangey eyeshadow 
And I'm first going to be putting this with a smaller blending brush in the inner thirds of my crease and really buffing that in. By the way, this eyeshadow look is extremely inspired by Bi Brookell. She is amazing. I wish I could do all my eye looks like her. So yes, my eyeshadow look is totally inspired by her. So next I'm going to be taking this burnt orangey looking shade. And this is from the Naked Heat palette. And oh my god, guys, this palette is so sick. Screw all the people that say this palette isn't good. This palette is literally right up my alley. Anyways, I'm going to be taking that color and I'm going to be putting it in the center part of my crease and I'm going to be taking a different bigger blending brush and I'm going to kind of be blending everything together because even though I want those two colors to be separate, I still want them to like seamlessly ombre on their way out. Now taking this darker kind of plummy red, I'm going to be focusing that on the outer thirds of my eyes. Once again, I do kind of want to drag it out, but I also do want all the colors to kind of blend together. And to help them blend together, I'm going to be taking that larger blending brush once again, and I'm going to be using that to blend it out and kind of go back and forth and do it until you guys are happy. Usually it won't just take one go of applying each color. You will have to layer and layer and blend and blend to make it actually look really good. Going back in with that burnt reddish orange shade, I think that's how I described it, the one that I used in the center of my crease, I'm going back in and this is just me layering product until I like kind of how dark it is and kind of the color scheme that's actually going on. When using a bunch of different colors, you could kind of choose which one you want to pop out the most. And now I'm going to just be taking whatever's left on my beauty blender and kind of pulling that out, not pulling too too hard because I don't want my foundation to completely diminish there. Next, this is the Alexa Persico Concealer Pot. I usually use this to carve out my eyebrows. It's basically just a thick cream concealer. And you could use really any concealer. I'm just using this to cut my crease. And I'm going over my tear duct a little bit too. I'm not starting from the very corner of my eye. And I'm going to create a half cut crease. I find this to be the easiest way to make a cut crease because it doesn't really matter what your eyeshadow is looking like before because you could just fix it up with concealer. A tip for you guys to make it actually look relatively okay is to constantly look forward and look up and make sure the concealer isn't hidden under the creases of your eyes. You want it to be above the crease of your eye. You also want to stop, since we're doing a half cut crease, you want to stop before the outer thirds of your eye and kind of blend that in with a darker eyeshadow. So from Alexa Persico, I'm using one of her pigments. I absolutely love her pigments. They are A, very pigmented, and also they're just so pretty and sparkly. This is kind of like a true kind of gold. I'm putting in the inner thirds of my eyes, but just remember we're kind of going to be blending these all together. Next I'm just going to be using Becca Champagne Pop as my second shade, but since I did want this look to be kind of focused around the Naked Heat palette, I could have totally used the shade. It's kind of like, it basically looks like this. It's like a shimmery, whitish looking shade at the beginning of the palette, so I would just use that if I were you guys. Next I'm using this kind of rose gold shade and I'm putting it on the lower parts of my eyes, and then this darker shimmer shade darker shimmer burnt red shade and I'm putting that on the outer thirds of my eyes. Next I kind of just wanted to blend everything together because I didn't really like how stuff was sitting on my eye. I actually ended up to take more of the Becca Champagne Pop and put it right on the center of my eye just so it really nicely blended together. Using the shade that we put on the outer thirds of our eyes when we were blending everything together in the crease, I'm just going to reapply that on the outer thirds of my eyes, once again making sure everything's nicely blended. And I really wanted to ensure everything was nicely blended, so I'm just going to go in with a super small blending brush and blending everything together. So this is what the top of the eye looks like. For the bottom, I'm going to be using that shade that we put on the center of our eyes, and I'm going to be buffing that on the inner thirds of the eyes kind of leaving the very, very front a little bit open, and then I'm going to be going in with that darker shimmer shade that we use on the outer thirds of our eyes and really, really buffing that in. Once again, this is the darkest shade that we've used, and I'm going to buff that in 
to the outer thirds of the eye. And then blending it all together with a kind of bigger blending brush for the lower lash line, just because I want everything to look nice and kind of blown out. So I decided I wanted it to be a little more cleaned up on the side. I didn't want to sharpen it though. So what I did is take a fluffier brush, not a flat top brush, but just something that has a little bit more fluff to it. And I put some concealer, but I also blended it because I didn't want a super sharp line. And I also blended it a bit with my finger. Next, I'm just gonna go back in with a smaller blending brush and taking that burnt orangey red shade that I like to describe before, and I'm just gonna be sharpening up the edges. This step isn't necessary, but I think it does make everything look a little more clean. Using my Art Liquid Eyeliner, I'm just gonna be drawing a line on the top of my eye. I don't wanna wing it out just because I feel like that would kinda of ruin the eyeshadow. And then off camera, I did apply um, mascara. I used the CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara. I also used Huda Beauty's Samantha Lashes with the Duo Eyelash Glue. And I used this Maybelline. I'm Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be for the brows, but we used it as an eyeliner. After we applied that eyeliner in our lower waterline, I'm going to be lining my lips with Spice Lip Liner. This one is from MAC Cosmetics. And this is a NARS lipstick. Any nude lipstick will work. And this is also a metallic lip from Smashbox. I think this just really adds to the festival look. And I'm just going to be applying that in the center of my lips. All right, so for the hair, I'm going to be taking my hairspray. This is a few days old hair. I honestly feel like it wouldn't work that well if you freshly washed your hair. I'm going to be brushing it all back and I'm going to be putting in a crap load of hairspray. I really want that pulled back look. So everything now from the hair to the glitter is inspired from B is for Beauty on YouTube. You guys should totally check her out. I think she did such a beautiful job and I just really, really wanted to create it. So yes, go check her out if you guys would like. And after I apply a crap load of this hairspray, I actually did decide to pin it back a bit. Um, but next, for the glitter, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay um, setting spray. Honestly, I should have used glitter glue, and I keep doing this just because it's like the easier way around. But I'm using MAC Cosmetics Gold Glitter, and after I kind of spray my face, I am putting this on the tops of my cheekbones and also on kind of my temple area. Next I'm going to be taking the same setting spray and I'm going to be putting that on my chest and also applying the glitter. I wouldn't recommend putting the setting spray first because when you use a brush and you kind of wiggle around all the glitter it actually did take a lot of bronzer off that I had on my chest. Um, and next I'm going to be taking my hairspray and I'm going to be putting all that glitter in my hair. So I really don't know why I decided to use hairspray for this. I literally just decided I was going to put hairspray on my neck. Honestly, it couldn't be that bad for you, but probably a glitter glue or setting spray would be better. But I'm just going to be putting this under my ear and on my neck. And honestly, I love how this looks. It honestly, like, low-key makes your jawline look chiseled. So, I mean, there's pros and cons to everything. So yeah, I thought that made it look really good, and I just really like the look of this. So I use the Too Faced Glitter Glue that I usually use for pigments on my eyes, but I wanted to apply it on the center of my eye and take this really chunky, chunky glitter that I got from the craft store. If you guys are using craft store glitter, really be careful by your eyes because they're not meant for your eyes. And I know it's like, whatever, they're not meant for the eyes, but it actually could get stuck 
and scratch your eyeball. So just be careful. Cosmetic glitter, it's okay if you get in your eye because it's so finely milled. Chunky glitter is not. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that on the center of my eyes. I loved how this looked. Like I would have been just so sad if I didn't do this, but I put that on the center of my eyes and I also put it kind of just a tiny bit to add a little something something of cheekbone just because, you know, I didn't have enough glitter to start with. Okay, so this was the biggest fail of my life. So I applied hairspray first, <laughs> and then these gold flakes that people have used for makeup looks, I'm like, oh my god, that looks so cool. Like, And I had some from a while ago, and I was like, why don't I put this in my hair too? And it kept falling off. Like, I literally had so much sticky hairspray in my hair, but I guess my hands were just way too sticky, and I tried to like hairspray it on. So yeah, not a lot of it stuck, just really, really tiny, tiny bits. But I'm actually glad that not a lot of it stuck because I think it would have been too much for the look. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, please tag me in any photos if you guys recreate this makeup look. I absolutely love seeing photos of recreations that you guys do. Please do give this video a like and subscribe if you like the video. Um, that would be awesome. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video.